What's up team? It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero here back again. It's been a few days and I figured that I should give you guys some sort of update on what's going on. So in one of the previous videos, I talked about doing a 365 day coding challenge. And then inside of that 365 days, I was going to build an app from start to finish and then put it online and market it and drive traffic to it and, and, and do all this stuff. And I'm still working on that. And this is an update on how on how this I also talked about in one of the previous videos about the direction I want to take the channel. And there's some different things I want to do. And and so the this channel, the real Casadero, this is this is this is me talking about the, the things, the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm working on. And they're all software related. They're all code related. They're all marketing related. They're all sales related. They're all business related. They're all life related. Uh, the, the ultimate goal is success. I want people to come here and be inspired and be motivated and like, Hey, if this guy's doing this thing, then I can go out and I can do this thing. And then you turn off the video and you go and you do whatever that thing is. But what I want to do is when I come here and I talk to you guys, I want to drop some real knowledge uh, and, and, and talk about some stuff that, that's been on my mind and and how I'm working through those kinds of things. So so what's going on, right, is I have never, I have never built a full-scale application anything. And, well, and, to, and so I guess, I guess there's, so let's talk about scale. So let's talk about scale. There, it, there are little apps, right? There's, so, so, you, so you start off with a website and this HTML and CSS. And then maybe you want to click a button and you want to move something from here to there. That's you add some JavaScript and boom, you now you got that functionality. That's an app. That is that application. The application means that there's some sort of logic somewhere that has to happen. Uh for 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 every action there is an equal well because it's code and it's magic and we're wizards. So it doesn't have to be an equal and opposite reaction. Like we can click a button here and execute a trade somewhere on the stock market that'll make us millions of dollars. That's not an equal and, and, and opposite reaction. Now, at some point in time, that may become the case, but I think maybe right now it isn't. But I think you guys understand what I'm saying. The The deal is, is that, is that every, the, the what defines an app is, 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 something happens we give we give some sort of input and we're given some sort of output so like the internet in itself is one big application like we go www.google.com uh, and boom something fires across the internet it hits a server that hits another server hits another server and then boom google pops up and then we're able to search right so we have just used an application now when we land on a web page and all it is is some text uh the the, tip, the the about me and this that and the third and that's it that's just that's just a web page so i built web pages and i built apps applications small applications but i haven't built anything all the way front end and back end i've interacted with the, I, I haven't built anything where you go onto a website and you click a button and and it takes you to a registration page and you register and then that information is put in the database and it comes back and an account is created and a profile is created and then boom, you got people on your deal doing profiles and stuff. I've used these things. I built portions of them, but I haven't built anything from the ground up. So that's what I've been doing over the last week. And it's been it's been hard. It's been hard. Um, but what's amazing is the amount of stuff that I've been learning while doing it, because I understand HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I understand all those things very well. I understand computer, computer science, web technology. I worked in one of the largest tech companies in the world. I understand this stuff. But it wasn't until I started to dig in and really build this thing that that a lot of stuff started to click. And it started to make sense, even more sense than it's ever made before to me. Like, um, there's a bunch of stuff that you run, in, run into when, you, when you're learning the JavaScript language, programming language, that that until you apply it, it, it won't really it, it won't really make sense like uh, async await or callbacks or uh, promises, uh, uh, higher order functions. Um, and there, there's there are all kinds of other recursion, all kinds of other things that you read them in a book. And the concepts seem clear and you're like, hey, I understand this. But then when you go to apply them, you're like, oh, no, man, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, the, like like one of the big things for me was callback functions because I had been, I had I learned how to write functions and all these different in 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 Fortran 
in C Sharp, no, in Fortran, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript. Uh, I learned how I learned how to write. I learned how to make functions. But then you got this function that's a callback function, and unless you understand like the underlying core concepts of a program of a programming language or just how programming languages work in general, then that stuff kind of doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense, like make sense like it could until you like get into it and then you're like, oh, all right. So a callback is really a callback function is really just a function that feeds another function somewhere in the programming languages library. This function or or, or a function or an anonymous function that I've created. And then that and then that 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 library does whatever it is it, is it does and it returns me back some information. Um, but before it returns me back that information, it has to execute something else that I say execute. So I'm saying, I want this information back, but before you give it to me, I need you to finish this other thing. And then when that thing's done, then give me the information back. That's the, that's the essence of a callback function. And here in six minutes, it's, almost, it's, in, it's not impossible to explain, but you won't know how to use them just by me talking. And if you're still confused, I absolutely understand positively. But that's that's what I've been working on, and that's that's what's going on. So I've written the app. I've got the whole. Um, I've got the registration. The the registration page is done. All of the logic for the registration page is done. Now where I'm having trouble is in styling it. Uh, and so I have. I know how to use Bootstrap, um, but I'm trying this new thing. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Beautify. It's like a styling, a, a styling framework, for uh, for Vue. And I ran into some issues, so I, I I set this thing up, and the elements on the page are not displaying it in the right way. So I go and I'm reading through all this documentation because that's what most of coding is 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 write some code, run into a bug, and then spend days trying to fix this bug. Like I had one bug, I I spent nine hours trying to figure this thing out, and it was literally just a, a forward slash that I had missed in one of the addresses that was causing the whole application to break. Uh, a day later, I ran into an issue where uh, it was a bunch of spelling errors. Like I was looking for, uh, I had a, all these requirements in my app that I that I wrote, and then when I added them as as modules to to other parts of the app, the the software was saying it couldn't find this stuff, um, and it was it was all spelling errors and typos. So you you spend a lot of time looking for capital letters and lowercase letters and commas and forward slashes and backslashes and all this stuff. Also, while I was going through this whole process, I began to learn a bunch of stuff about Visual Studio Code that I didn't even know about. And it's one of the, it's again, it's one of those things where like you can hear about it, you can read about it, but until you have a situation where you can go and apply it, it doesn't really make sense. But when you're able, when you run into that situation where you can apply the things that you've learned, then it starts to stick in your brain and your brain starts to go, this is important because he or she you or me right we we're we're spending so much energy on this thing and the brain it wants to the, the brain is here to protect us the brain is the, the brain is here to protect the body and the body's here to protect the brain and when we start spending a lot of time thinking about stuff and really dwelling on stuff and mulling over stuff the brain goes this is important and it starts to store this stuff away in in this in inside of the memory banks or whatever like i'm no i'm not a neuroscientist i'm a computer scientist so i can tell you about how all this stuff works but i will tell you this from what i've read and what i and what i and what i know from experience working working on computers and working at one of the largest tech companies in the world is that the brain is not too much different from this computer and we can program them both. And so that that's what I've been going through for the last few days. Now I have an Instagram up, the web dev construct, if you wanna if you wanna follow the progress on Instagram. And what I do is I just drop an image and then I, you know, I drop uh, you know, a, a few lines of text about what about about what I'm working on, what I'm struggling with. So if you guys want to uh if you guys want to follow on Instagram, that is perfect. I just thought I should come here and drop you guys some sort of update and let you know what's going on. And I'm putting together, I'm putting together a monster course, a killer course for you. The webs, I'm gonna have a website and a landing page and all this stuff for you guys to go and sign up and pre-register and all this stuff. But not yet, because what I want to do is I want to finish this app. I want to get this app to a place where I'm comfortable, and then I can build out this other stuff. The goal was to have the app done in in 40 days, well, in 50 days. 
but uh, I've given myself a deadline. It's a shorter deadline. But also, what I want to do is is I want to I, I want to I want to start producing content that you guys could use to uh, to get to the next level, wherever that may be. Some of you like you're just starting out. You've never coded before. And, and you're looking for some place to start some of you have, or some of you are light years ahead of me and it doesn't even it doesn't even matter but you just you just like to hang out here and you like to watch my content anyway and that's cool so so I really I really want to I really want to launch I really want to launch the course um but I got some other stuff that I that I'm working on right now but that that has been my journey over the last few days uh as far as coding goes and it's it's been a, it's been a lot of it's been a lot of aha moments, a lot of debugging, a lot of uh, a lot of scratching my head and wondering what the hell's going on because this shit work and it doesn't work. And right now, so I, I've like I said, I've got the functionality all built out for the registration page, but now I'm going through and I'm trying to add some styling to it. And once I once I once I figure out Beautify, Beautify, and how that all works then um then it it should be it should be really easy for me to go through and build out the rest of the, the parts of the application now i will tell you this right like i'm not doing this from scratch off the top of my head i'm following a tutorial from um from a, a guy on uh free code camp and what i'll do is i'll i'll actually drop a link below but I'm documenting every step in the process and I'm going through and I'm I'm really mastering the concepts that are being used in building this application. So um so yeah, so that's the update. That's what's going on. My goal is to drop at least one of a video like this uh every other day and then on Instagram to give give you guys some sort of update uh, uh once a day and I'll put the link in the I'll put the link in the notes below. But this is the journey team, and so this 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 channel is about is about coding, marketing, selling, and, and, and about the, the the process that I'm going through, and building a startup, and launching a course, and building a business, and all this stuff, and then uh, and then I'll bring some other YouTube channels that are going to focus hardcore, concrete on very specific aspects of each of those things. Uh, one one aspect is going to be code. Then we're going to have the aspect that's marketing. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go from there. We're going to keep building team. It's been about 12 minutes. I don't want to hold you guys up. Uh, I know it's rough to watch a 12 minute video. I try to be as lively as I can to keep you guys engaged and keep you guys motivated. But I understand like 12 minutes is a long time for some people. But if you made it here to the end, that's fantastic. Fantastic. If you made it here to the end, that means you like me and you like what I'm saying. And you think that at some point I'm going to say something valuable that may change your life. So what you want to do, what you want to do is want to hit the subscribe button and um, you want to hit the subscribe button. And then you want to click the bell so you get notifications and you want to watch all the videos because when I launched the when I launched the the site with the pre-launch and all this other stuff like you can go over to the real right now and I have like a little basic course there you can follow that talks about ideal generation idea creation and come up with an ideal um, to build a product that's like a precursor to everything if you sign up there you'll get the emails from that but um but yeah if you if you want the notifications uh, and if you want to know what's new what's coming down the pipe um, what may benefit you in the future then you definitely want to subscribe you definitely want to click the notification bell and then of course you can always head over to the real and uh and sign up there for for the the free master class that i have and if you go into resources there's a bunch of stuff and resources that you can use that'll uh that'll get you started in some aspects i'm not exactly sure what i have there now because i don't look at it every day i just whenever i have an idea or a thought or something um or resource i just grab it and i just drop it in this software that I use and you're able to access that directly from the real Casadero website. So anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out with me here. It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero, and I will see you next time.